Good morning, everybody. So last night, I just purchased and downloaded a brand new solo piano album by my good friend and Cunningham piano colleague, Ina Sinyakova. She's a fantastic pianist, international pianist, internationally renowned composer as well. And these are a collection of her own arrangements of some pop tunes. I believe this is her first solo album. Anyway, yeah, debut solo album. Wonderful, wonderful album. So I got this off of her link at CD Baby, and I'll have a link to her album in my notes below. So please get the album. It's really awesome. Now, um, of course, in this day and age, we don't have CD players. CD Baby is kind of a strange name for the fact that nobody has CD players anymore. And um, I'll be honest, these days I am absolutely in love with my, um, my Amazon Echo and I have several Echo units all around uh, my home and my main one is an Echo Show uh, which is on my kitchen counter and I use that to play music whenever I want to hear something. So I thought, wait a minute, that must be a way to get these files that I've just purchased and downloaded. How can I get them so that I can ask my Amazon Echo to play them for me? So I did a little bit of research and this is what I found. I found a really interesting service called MyPod and the web address is mypodapp.com. And what you can do is you can link your Amazon account with this free service and upload your music to a Google Drive folder, share that folder link, and then you simply ask uh, your Echo device to play that song. So I'm going to walk you through the steps. So first things first, you're going to need uh, an Amazon account and you're also going to need a Google account. Okay. So first things first, let's link the MyPod skill to your Amazon Echo device. Go to Amazon.com. Under departments, you can do a full store directory search. And we're going to go scroll down until we get to the Echo and Alexa section on the left hand side here. Look for Alexa app, or excuse me, Alexa skills. And then do a search for my pod. There you go over here. Let's click on this. And then, of course, I have this enabled already. So make sure you click on this. It'll say enable and you click on that. And then it'll automatically be activated on all of your connected Amazon Echo devices. Okay, so now let's go through the process of adding songs to MyPod. Within your Google account, you'll be able to go to My Drive. Within your drive, you can create a new folder. And I've already created her folder, but I'm going to just do it again just for fun, okay? So we're going to do New, a New Folder. We're going to call this Nina for her songs, okay? And now I'm going to double click on this. I'm going to go to my files over here and I'm going to upload, drag and drop and upload all of her songs over here. So that'll just take a, a minute or two. Let's go back to my pod app. Let's get started now. I'm going to go ahead and sign in. So don't look at my password. <laughs> okay. So my pod app is a free service but there are a couple of limitations. You can only create one playlist at a time. And if you can actually also upload files directly too, although there's a 128 megabyte file limit. So it's a free service. If you want to have more playlists, if you want to have more storage space, you can certainly do so, but it'll be a paid service. I haven't looked at the pricing yet. So I'm just creating a free version of this. I'm going to go ahead and call this uh, Nina. Okay. Create a playlist called Nina. Create this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a link to my playlist. So what this will allow me to do is add a link from my Google folder. Okay. Let's go back here. And I think everything should be finished. Yes. Okay. Let's go back to my drive. Now I'm going to right click on my Nina folder. Okay. And get a shareable link. All right. Here's the link. I'll go ahead and click on that. Copy that. Go over back to here, and we're going to add a link to the playlist. Let's go ahead and give this a name, Nina. Let's paste the link that we just copied, and then click on Add Link. There you go. Okay. So 
again, you can add up to 10 links within a play playlist name. Um, if you want to something have something more generic like my music, you can do that. This name is what you're going to call out, all right, to have your uh, Amazon Echo device play your music. Okay, so here we go. Let's give this a try. Alexa, ask my pod to play Nina. Play Nina. Nina Siniakova won sex on Love Along the Winner, based at all dark MP3. How cool is that? Now you can put your very own library of songs and have it play on any of your Amazon Echo devices. I actually have a routine where when I come home, Amazon Echo will recognize that I'm approaching my home and it automatically turn on my lights, I have it connected to my smart plugs, and automatically play my favorite playlists so I have some music playing as soon as I get home. It's a wonderful service. I really, really love my Amazon Echo. So I hope you found this helpful. Be sure to subscribe so that I can let you know Alright, see you next time.